Hey guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. For those of you who are returning back to my channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, hi, my name is Katie. I post new videos here on my channel every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. So I really hope that you'll hit that subscribe button down below to become a part of our little corner of the internet. So today we are going to be starting up again <laughs> with my Funko collection. Um, it's been a long time since I posted my last video and uh, as far as this collection or this series I guess goes um, and the last one that I did was The Little Mermaid so I thought that it would be appropriate to continue on with this collection and show you guys my Beauty and the Beast collection. So keep in mind that they, <laughs> all of these collections are pretty much ever growing. Funko is coming out with so many new products at any given time. So I know that I will have to go back and update my um, collections. I just get a lot of questions about my collection. So I feel like this is kind of the easiest way to go about it is to just break it down into categories instead of having like an hours long video telling you guys about all of the Funkos that I have because it's a lot um, and honestly one of my New Year's resolutions is to start getting rid of pops because I just have so many pops it's insane like the mystery minis and the the uh, pint size heroes don't bother me as much because they don't take up as much space but the pops Whew, the pops are a lot so I already have a whole big bag packed up of ones that I'm going to try to sell um, but I think that I still want to do more and get rid of more <laughs> um, so we'll we'll see how that goes so who knows maybe my collection will be dwindling down some we'll get there eventually but <laughs> for now I'll show you some that I know I will be keeping there's so many of my Disney ones that I just I'm not gonna get rid of ever like they're just gonna stay with me for so long so let's just jump into my Disney collection shall we or my Beauty and the Beast collection we're not jumping into my Disney one uh, <laughs> that'll take too long but um, we'll start with the ones that I was holding up in my thumbnail since they're sitting here in my lap um, and we'll start with this guy this is the only Beast pop that I have I have a oh I thought I had a mystery mini of him too, but I just have a dorb of him as well. Um, dorbs of him as well. Um, but this is, of course, the Beast. I love this version of him. This is from Something There, and that is my favorite part of the movie in general. And he's sitting here holding a bird. He has a bird up on top of his head, and I just think that he is just so, so precious in this form. He's so cute and giant, and I... <laughs> I think he's adorable. And the next one that I have is Belle, also from the Something There scene. I do also have the Diamond Edition of Belle, which essentially just means she's covered in glitter. Um, she's downstairs right now. <laughs> I'm going to play the lazy card and not go down there and get her because she's legit the exact same pop as this, um, just with glitter on her. So it's not like you're missing out on too much. Is she pretty? Yeah, she's pretty, but she looks exactly the same as this. Um, and once again, I love that scene so much. I love this outfit of hers. Growing up, this was like the outfit that I wanted was her like fur cape and everything. I love this outfit so much. She's also holding birds, so she's just extra, extra cute. She has a little bow in her hair and everything. So adorable. Sticking with Belle, this is the only Belle that I have that is from the new movie. This one I actually might get rid of, but um, she's in her super, super fancy dress. I don't even remember what part of this of the movie this was from because I did not like that movie at all, so I've really only seen it, I've only seen it once. I saw it in theaters and have not seen it since, so um, I don't remember when this is from. I remember being out trying to find this because it was a Target exclusive one and this was before I had seen the movie so I was trying to like hunt down all the hard ones to find so that when the once I saw it and I in my head was like once I loved it which I didn't um, I would be able to find all of the other ones easier so I do have this one and she's pretty she's very detailed um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know about this one. I might might put this one up for sale as well. We have Gaston, of course. How can we not have Gaston, right? Um, he looks like Gaston would, you know, 
pretty normal. The cartoon version, of course, with his yellow and his red and his macho-ness and his ponytail and everything. <laughs> I mean, not much to say about him, not super detailed, but definitely spot on to how he looks in the movie. And then I think that this is my favorite pop that I have of Belle, and it is Belle in her blue dress. And I just love that she has like the super blushy cheeks. She's so cute and just so like precious and tiny. I don't know. I just love this pop so much. She has her blue bow in the back with her hair tied back. She has a little basket. I just think that this one is so, so precious. So now to get into the objects that I have Pops for. So the first one that I'm going to show you is Mrs. Potts, who is just absolutely precious to death. And of course, you can't have Mrs. Potts without having Chip. And yes, they come together, you get them in one pack, and they are just too, too cute together. They got her coloring down perfectly, and I just think that she looks so precious, and so does Chip. I just, I love these two. Next up we have Lumiere, of course. I love that his flames are kind of transparent, so it does look a little bit fiery and very cool. And I just, I love Lumiere and Cogsworth so much, so having him in pop form definitely makes me happy. And speaking of Cogsworth, ah, I love him. He is just the cutest. I think Cogsworth is my favorite character from Beauty and the Beast, and... He's just so cute in this pop form. He looks so sassy with his little hands on his hips and everything. Like, he is not having any of anyone's business today. <laughs> not that he ever would. He has no nonsense, ever. <laughs> So that's it for Pops, but that doesn't mean that we're done. <laughs> I do have a Belle and a Beast in Dorb's form. Um, they're obviously both in their Beauty and the Beast um, dance number uh, outfits here. They are so, so cute. Um, I don't think that Dorb's are really the most popular of Funko products, but they do come out with some really, really cute ones, and these are definitely up there on that list. I have two mystery minis of Belle. This one is from a Disney Princess mystery mini blind box collection that they had where you got a princess and like a sidekick type character. Hers was Cogsworth, but I never got him. Sad face. <laughs> and then this one is from the Disney Treasures box. I believe that this was from like the winter themed one. Um, and she came with a really cute tin as well. And of course, in my very, very favorite outfit that she wears. last but certainly not least I have these little guys these are pint-sized heroes of Belle and the Beast of course in their ballroom outfits again Ooh. and they're just so tiny and so so cute and I truly love these two so much Alright guys, so that's everything for my Beauty and the Beast Funko collection. I will definitely be continuing with this collection, or with this series going forward over the next couple months. So let me know if you have any requests for any part of my collection. I will link down below to what I already have filmed. Um, I did my entire Harry Potter collection as well as three parts of my Disney collection. So hopefully you guys will find something fun to watch there. But um, yeah, that is everything that I have for you for today. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!